Hi and welcome to Raven Rebels little tutorial about how to build stuff on Ravencoin blockchain using Node.js, web te technology and Google Firebase to get a real-time database. And uh, Raven Rebels, why are we here? Well, we are here to increase the adoption of Ravencoin. We are here to show people how to build stuff on top of Ravencoin blockchain. And as you see on the screen right now, you see our little, uh, well, our simple uh, web application. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a showcase. We are showcasing how you can build stuff. And in this case, it's just a mobile friendly web app. Nothing fancy fancy. This sharp looking guy with nice sneakers in his hand is holding the Beerbox app, which we can imagine is a digital token representing, uh, representing a beer. One beer token, one beer. This guy is happy. He has 13 beers waiting for him. What a happy guy. Okay, let's get started. And well, before we get started, we can say that uh, thanks everyone who liked our last video, our first video. This is second video. Uh, we are very grateful for our like 10 subscribers. It's great. So if you like this video, please leave a comment and please press the like button and please share. And all kinds of inputs, inputs uh, and comments are welcome. If you think we can become better in a way, improve this in any way, just give us a tip. Uh, okay, now the, now we are done with that part. So let's see, uh, how did we do this beer box? Well, uh, let's start from the glass. Here we have our little web application. It looks even better in mobile, uh, on a mobile device. Uh, in mobile mode. Uh, so this is a simple web location, beer box, you can sign in and when you have signed in you can see your balance. How many beer tokens do you have? And we believe this is the future. We believe in digital tokenization. Everything will be, uh, that can be, will be tokenized. You have that all around the you have that already, right? You can go to uh, Starbucks and buy coffee. You can send a digital token to your friend that, and give your friend a coffee at Starbucks, right? Uh, you do that via message or so. And we think, and you have lots of coupons or tokens or tickets, uh, discounts online. Much of that is custom made. I mean, th that can be made on Ravencoin. It's, it's simple and it's dirt cheap and it's effective. Because if we, if we build this little beer token app on Ravencoin, the blockchain is global. So it doesn't matter. We are sitting in Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, you might be sitting in Tokyo or Seattle, uh, wherever you want. And we will now show you how you can build like very simple stuff with you have the 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 massive infrastructure you have this blockchain it's huge thousands of of servers nodes wallets uh, and then you have you have your little tiny application so we will now show you how you can connect uh, your web application to the blockchain and of course you can't go from like web app to blockchain so you need a man in the middle in this case, we are using Google Firebase in the middle to add us, which adds real-time database capabilities. So let's start by logging into this Beerbox app. And we have Ben, it's a fake account. Ben does not exist, but it sounds cool. And Ben logs in and he sees, wow, he has three beer tokens. He's a happy guy. So what did we see here? Well, actually, our JavaScript was using the uh, Google Firebase API. And what is Google Firebase? Let's find out. 
let's say oh let's go to firebase and google firebase uh it's has very low price it's almost i i would you can almost say that it's free <laughs> because you can load lots of stuff before they charge you any money so just go to firebase uh create the project in our case we created the beer token project and in this project we create set up a real-time database and what is a real-time database it's just to, you just store json data here and all the consumers that are subscribing to this database will get instant updates what do we mean by that well check this out let's place uh, firebase to the right and our uh, web app to the left check this out uh, the balance you see here on the left is actually uh, this address and it, we have um, stored the balance for this address this address on the blockchain contains three beer tokens let's see what happens let's let's say we give this guy five tokens we're going to do an update here and check out this balance part when we say five and we press enter it's immediately updated in the client it's real time this is so cool so what do we want to do well we have a script a node script here that is uh, asking the blockchain which addresses contains beer tokens and it sends this information to Google Firebase. Then of course we cache it so we only send updates if needed. So this makes it dead simple for the web app to uh, show the balance for this user. And on the other hand we have our wallet our raven coin wallet this is raven core wallet for windows the official raven wallet uh, you download it by going to ravencoin.org uh, you press wallets we are on windows so we have uh, downloaded one of these guys and uh, when you have if you have your wallet you need to set it up in server mode you need to configure it to index transactions and assets assets because you want as much information as possible we did talk about that in our last video and uh, actually if you go to ravenrebels.com uh, we have a link to our github and on github uh, we have this Ravencoin by example repo. This repository is uh, public, open for everyone. If you go to example one from our last video, we had some tips on how you should set up your uh, configure your wallet so it's programmable. So check out our last video if, if you didn't see it. Okay, so now we have our wallet running, which is synchronized with the blockchain, knows everything right uh, we have our fancy fancy um, uh, database on Google and we will now show you the glue the, the what's in between Firebase and our wallet which is a little node script node.js very simple uh, all of this uh, the code you see here is also available in our uh, repository on github so just go to example two you have all the code so okay so this sync beer token balance uh it it will just um use the uh, package from uh, firebase admin from google it will do a rpc call to the wallet and asks for and it runs this list addresses by asset and it sends in beer token what is list addresses by asset well if you go to the ravencoin wallet and you click the debug window you get a console here if you just type help it will tell you all the available uh, commands or methods 
And in our case, we're using this uh, list addresses by asset. And if we, as a parameter argument, we send a beer token and it will list, okay, this addresses contains beer tokens. And in our web application, we uh, made life simple. So uh, we have some JavaScript that is um, using the Firebase APIs to talk to the Firebase and get real time updates. And it should, and it subscribes to beer tokens. And our database is like, where is it? Here it is. Uh, we have created a key called addresses uh, and the value is an object with key value pairs, address, amount, uh, balance, address, balance, address, balance. So you want your, um, the users of your web interface to subscribe to their address. So we have this little get address for user which is completely fake. It just <laughs> returns one hard coded address, but it's just for this demo. So uh, the web client is subscribing to this token. That's why we could change it and it was reflected on the web app. Uh, so what we want to do now is have a look. Okay, what if we make a real transaction on the blockchain? What if we, uh, we know that this is the address that the web page is uh, subscribing to. So let's move some tokens from this address, which we control, to that address. To do that, we will use the command, uh, first we do help list addresses by asset and the command the console will uh, guide us in the right direction. It tells us that we should uh, type, no, not that one, uh, transfer from address. We, we are interested in this one. Okay, so transfer from address. We want to uh, transfer uh, uh, some beer tokens from this address to that address. And we can see here, we have to issue the, we use the command Transfer from address, bear token, from address, quantity, to address. Let's do that. And let's see, uh, because we have the uh, node script running here, checking every th three seconds, it uh, gets information for the blockchain. And if something has changed, it will update Google Firebase, and Google Firebase will update our user interface here. So if we do transfer from address, and what was it now? First asset name, beer token, from, from this guy to that guy. And it said asset from quantity to address. So how many beer tokens? Let's give the guy two beer tokens, he will be so happy. Okay, let's do it now. On This is a real transaction on the main net. This is not testnet, it's a real deal. Let's do it. And here we go. This is the transaction. We get the transaction ID. The transaction is broadcasted to the network and we should keep an eye on this one. Uh, as soon as this is registered, in the, on the blockchain, when this transaction is part of a block, you will see the balance updates here in, in the web app. So let's do get transaction. We can uh, use the console to get metadata about this transaction that we just posted. And we see zero confirmations. So it has not yet been confirmed by any miner, but it will be soon because uh, Raymond coin is really fast. Let's run again. Let's do this more often. We will soon see how uh, B 
appear token amount two will be uh, sent to this address and it will be updated. Oh, we have one confirmation. Now it's clear. Ooh, five. Nice, nice. Okay, so what you just witnessed was a real transaction on Ravencoin blockchain from our wallet. And we used our uh, Node.js script, uh, which listens to changes. And it's, uh, in this case, it noticed that there have been changes. So it uh, updated Firebase and Firebase updated the client. Very nice. It's kind of fast, even though we do everything on the blockchain. In a future video, in a future video, we will show you how you can get like instant updates because we trust our uh, addresses. If we know that we just sent something from one of our addresses that we control to another address, we can trust that. And that gives uh, the end user like instant updates. So that will be for a future video. And in a future video, we will also show you how you can connect unique users to unique addresses. In, in this little example, we are just hard coded the address, which, which you of course cannot do in a real time example, in a real example. So I hope that this inspired you to think about new ways of uh, building adoptions uh, or new ways of building stuff on top of the Ravencoin blockchains. If you like this video, please hit that like button. It's very fun to see that someone else in this huge world saw us. I mean, YouTube is huge. I, I, we can't understand that someone can find us at all. Uh, very fun. And if you have any suggestions, what you want to see or learn more about, just uh, give us a comment. It's uh, very appreciated. And we also want to thank our uh, subscribers, uh, we have, uh, what is it? 10 subscribers now, I think, on YouTube. It's wonderful. It's really cool. It's really cool. Uh, so thank you for today and see you in the next video. Bye.